set? I think it was a six. Oh, yeah, it was pretty thick. <laughs> Yeah, he does. What's going on, guys? Trying to be a little quiet. This is kind of a quiet thing, but we are out here, hopefully, doing a little smelt fishing. I got my green light set up here. We're putting it down in the hole right now. A couple foot down, I guess. And uh, we're hoping to bring some of these smelt in come dark. Look who I got with me. <laughs> I got Ross. He's over there tying up a few of these smelt rigs. Um, I'm going to show you guys those in a minute. Uh, those are super important and actually the guy that makes them is out here tonight and we bought a couple from him. So um, stay tuned. I'll show you guys a little bit about what we're doing and uh, hopefully I'm going to put my first smelt on the ice. Ross has done this a bunch but uh, this is my first time so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, Ross, so what are you doing, buddy? All right, so I'm putting on uh, some of these super secret uh, perch pounders. I don't know if you can see that with the light, but probably I'm not. just putting a little tiny loop dropper and uh, putting about uh, four or five on the main line and then uh, using a Haley at the bottom for weight and extra hook. This one right here, hopefully you guys can see it. Like I said, it's pretty dark. We're gonna get shack here in a minute. I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the brioche, on the brioche bread. <laughs> it's pretty good. Only one sandwich, not two. <laughs> two fishermen, one sandwich. <laughs> I think I need to leave now. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, now we're in the shack. Maybe you guys can see these little tiny flies we're using. And we are going to go ahead and put one little spike on each one of these flies and we're gonna see how it goes I'm hoping to put my first smelt on the ice right now the graph is lit up Ross says sometimes it's uh, what plankton you said yeah let's see if Ross can get in here Whoa. it's kind of oh, that's a lot of man <laughs> it's not for big boys all right he's in <sighs> he's got his snacks that's key there it looks yeah. like all right, we're gonna catch a fish. Next time I check in, I'm gonna have a smelt on the ice. You got it, Ross? Mm -mm. You sure? Yep. Oh, he's got one! There it is. No way! No way! Third. It is a small this year. That is uh, really small. Uh, <laughs> Candlefish. Is that what you call them? Uh, I think like the. Inupiate or something, call them that. They dry them out and they light their tail and they use them as a as a candle. Right on. But they're delish. Well, that's our first <laughs> smelt of the night. Rainbow smelt, baby. I'm super stoked. Now I got to get one. Dang, Ross. This is fun. It is fun. Which, uh, I didn't see which jig was that on, Ross. The bottom? Oh, the bottom. Ross, I just yeah. said. You got it? Yeah, you got it, right? I don't know. He hammered it. Oh. Go. But I mean, you, you get you're gonna feel it if he's on there a little bit. I you got to. Yeah, you, I mean, I don't know that one. I you didn't, didn't at all, did you? It, like normally, dude, normally this thing's at five times that size. Oh, well, maybe four. I mean, <laughs> well, maybe like, you just got a really tiny one. Maybe I hope so. God, that's tiny. Oh, Ross! Tell me, tell me. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> it's gotta be on there. Come on, it feels good. Dude. Hmm. Yeah, they're moving way up. Look mm -hmm. at the... Okay, I've got one on. Ross, look at my rod, look at my rod, look at my rod. You should get a better... You let it eat. That'll, you get a better hit. The, oh, that's, those are pretty good hits. Go. There's nothing out there, bro. There's nothing what out there. Doing? What's your deal? I don't those know. Are, yeah, they're just chomping on it. Why are... I mean, I have all my, I got all my things. Are they, what, what are they munch? What are they munching on? They're Dude, like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see down there. There's that little Haley jig. And then I've got these little other jigs there. I've been trying to show it a couple times, but it's so dark. 
I don't know if it's showing up, but if you can see, we're uh, we're getting a ton of bites, but we're not uh, connecting with them, and they are really small. But hopefully, the graph is showing up in this video because as the night's going on, the fish have rose up to where now they're only maybe 20 foot below the surface, and they were. 40 or 50 and now they're kind of as the night's going on they're raising up higher and higher so hopefully that's a good thing we only got one smelt on the ice <sighs> ross that you're supposed smelt. to be just stacking them over there <laughs> oh i got them stacked it's a it's a short stack but it's uh i'll tell you what you'd need about a hundred of those to get a meal out of it <laughs> yeah you would <laughs> That's a weird bite, like. And it's, he's not. A, oh, oh, Ross, I got one. Yeah, you do. He's on. Rod's been he's way on. more. Come on, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, goodness, oh, 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 oh! Oh, he got away. <laughs> nice, 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 dude. That's great. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! My first smelt got away. Hey, but you got him though. I mean, well, you didn't get him, but. Gosh, that's hilarious. Dude, the bite is so small because they're just absolutely tiny. They're tiny. I've, I've never <laughs> they're caught, so small. I've never caught the smallest small. Oh my gosh. But it comes with like three. There's one. Got him, Ross. Yep, I see your red bit there too. Got him again, Good baby. Job, it's turning man. on, guys. Go. It's turning on. Oh, he's fighting a little bit. Look at him going to the side nice. and stuff. Yes. That's a, yeah. Ross. There it is, Matthew. Oh my gosh. Dude, this one's pretty big. Here, yeah. hold this light up a little yeah. bit. See if we can't check them out. Yeah. I don't know. They sure are wiggly. <laughs> yeah. There's my first smelt right there, guys. He's maybe, what is he, maybe five inches long? Four <laughs> inches, maybe? Five inches, nothing. So this is what the hype is all about, is these things right here. You can see he came on the bottom glow Haley jig. And... Uh, that's a little bigger than yours, Ross. I think it might be a little I'm bigger. I'm putting the hurting on you, I brother. Think, I think you might be. <laughs> All right, we're going to get them off. And uh, we just have to catch about 100 more each to <laughs> each, get a meal. Each, yeah. But we got one on the ice. Cow. There's the one. the same size. Oh, I think he already got off. <clears throat> There's one. Whatever it is. Come on, baby, stay on. Oh, Ross. Dog. That has some double. weight to it, Got I'm telling dub. you. Maybe a dub. Oh, just pretty much the same size as the rest. All right, guys, I'm just checking back in a little bit. Uh, we've been popping one or two every once in a while. I wanted to talk a little bit about if you're coming out here and doing this for the first time, like like I am. Ross has been out doing this a lot, but this is my first time. Um, a little bit about kind of what to expect. And uh, like I've said, I think we're in about 75 foot of water right now, and we're on the north end of Gull Lake, which is uh, the last spot on this lake to freeze. And there's a lot of years you can't even get on the north end, I guess. Um, but people fish for smell on the south end. It just doesn't, it's not as deep. Um, so supposedly it's a little better down here. Um, what we're noticing is we're marking fish. Uh, definitely bring a Vexilar if you're coming out to do this or whatever fish finder you have. Um, we're marking fish all the way almost down to the bottom, um, but they come in in kind of schools and where we've been actually catching them is like 30 foot down. And um, it's kind of hard to tell because these fish are so small, but uh, you definitely mark them on the graph good. Um, and uh, just if you're going to do this, bring a really sensitive rod. Um, the one I'm using, can't really see it. This is a uh, this is made by Infinity Custom Rods, and it's kind of my all around. I use it for bluegill a lot, but it's got a really sensitive tip on it, and um, it's picking up these bites really good. It's just we're not uh, connecting with them because I guess this year these smelt are running a little bit small. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that, you know, covers everything. Make sure bring a shack. You got to have the green light set up like we do and uh, come out here and set up a little bit before dark and uh, try to have some fun. So we're going to keep fishing a little bit longer. I think it's about nine o'clock. Um, we don't have quite enough for a meal yet. But like I said, this is my first time. I'm happy we caught a few. Um, I'll definitely be out to do it again, but uh, I'll check back in if something exciting happens.
Hey guys, um, we're just getting ready to wrap up here. We've got, I don't know, like a half a sandwich baggie of, uh, of smell. It's only, um, I don't know, what is it, like 10 o'clock probably. So we could stay out longer. Um, we did learn a couple of things. We, uh, we we talked to one of our neighbors here and he's kind of a smelt master. Shout out to Bob. Um, <laughs> but uh, he kind of uh, pushed the importance of dead sticking and kind of watching the upbite. And he was absolutely right. Um, so as you can see, he's got it just dead sticked right there. And you're kind of focusing on a certain depth, wherever you're marking the fish the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens is you set your rod down and you watch your tip. And a lot of times it's the tip will raise just a hair and that's those bites. And obviously these fish are, you know, four inches long. So the bite isn't real aggressive. If you're gonna get out and do this, uh, it's best, you know, come out with a buddy or two because it's not exactly hot action, you know, fishing like you may be used to in, in some cases, but it's a blast. And there are nights that are better than others. Um, tonight wasn't exactly our best night. We had a great time out here and uh, you guys should really get out and do it. It's, it's a ton of fun, uh, albeit not action packed. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, we'll check back in once I'm home. We're gonna clean these fish up and uh, see how they taste. Ross has hyped these things up. To me, they look like something you should use to catch walleye. Ross acts like they're just like delicious. They're delish. One biters. One Nip the head, scoop the guts, deep fat fry that SOV, and <laughs> pop it in your mouth. They're delish. They're so good. Well, we're going to find out here. Real. All right, guys. Well, we're back home. It's the next day. Here's my massive catch. I don't know. We maybe got about 30 of them in there. Um, I'm going to get these things cleaned up. Uh, this is the first time doing it. So I'm going to just kind of do what people have told me to do and see how it goes. Um, I kept trying last night to show what I was using and everything because before we went out and did this, I was I, nobody really explained in detail about their rigs and stuff. So luckily I met this guy, his name's Phil, and he makes these uh, little tiny flies. This is called the Gull Lake Smelt Factory Ice Flies. And you can get these at uh, a few local stores around here have them and uh, like DNR Sports in Kalamazoo had them. Um, but what he told me to do, he was actually out there that night, is uh, buy one of these Haley jigs like this. I believe that's what they're called. And then you tie it at the bottom. And then you just put a couple of these flies right in line like that. Okay. And I think you can run up to six. I had four flies and then that jig on the bottom. Um, and the main mistake that I made is I don't have these spaced out far enough. Like the guy out there that was hammering them had them maybe 12 inches apart, each one of these flies. So I'm going to go out again and just space these out a little more, maybe change my rod. But uh, this rod worked okay. Everybody was using a longer rod. Seemed to work really good. Um, I definitely think that there's a little bit of a learning curve to it. Um, we, I was super happy to just go out and catch them. And, uh, you know, that was a total success for me. But there was a lot of people around that were getting a lot of fish. I mean, constantly pulling them up and getting them. So it was fun to see and learn. So hopefully next time I go, I can kind of uh, put some of that to use that I learned and hopefully get a few more. So anyways, we're going to clean these up. I've got some scissors and I guess all you do is cut the heads off and then kind of cut the guts out, rinse them out, and then you uh, cook them whole. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so like I said, never done this before, but it sounds like you just kind of maybe behind the gill there, snip their head. And it looks like maybe having like a sharper pointed scissor. Would, nah, this works fine. Snip down their belly is what I was told. And then uh, kind of rinse out this stuff. There's very little guts or anything in them. They're so, these, these, like I said, I think earlier, these things are super small as far as this uh, year class of fish. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they're so small this year, but... Uh, Everybody out there said they're just running really small, but uh, I guess that's it like that. People, I mean, you leave the tail on, I guess, and everything. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the rest of these like that. And yeah, I guess uh, 
I don't know if you leave these little fins on. I'm probably gonna. But uh, there you go. There's one cleaned smelt uh, ready to batter up and fry. So I'm going to get all these done. These scissors are really cool. These are those Gerber scissors. Um, they're like made for fishing. They're serrated. So they've got little serrations in them and uh, they cut braid really good. But they're working good for this too. So I'm going to get this all done. I'll check back in once I'm inside um, and uh, we'll see how they taste. What else are you going to put in there, buddy? What else do you think? Um, um, that. This? No, that. This? Yes. Okay. All right. You put some white pepper in there? Okay, just a little bit, though. Okay. That one's spicy. There we go. That's plenty. Good. There you go. Good job. There you go. All right, so we got a beer batter mixed up with one of these beers. Some of this stuff which is kind of spicy. I thought that'd be good. But that is not spicy. A little bit spicy, not too bad. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna dunk our no, fish in there. you do mine out. I'm gonna open this one. And Walt's gonna open that one. All right, stay tuned. All right, we just did a little test batch and the uh, batter stuck really good. And uh, I don't know, I think they actually look pretty good. Come in here for the close up here. Our oil's nice and hot, oh yeah. We're going to do a big batch this time. I only did five on that first one to make sure everything was good. We could probably do all the rest of these, I think. Probably. We can one more batch. I'm kind of curious what Walt's going to think of these. I bet he'll eat them right up. <laughs> like they're chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try one, bud? Yeah. All right. I'll get you one that I think... It's cooled off. That one is. See what you think. It has one tail on it. It does still have a tail. But I don't want the tail on it. Okay, that's fine. Okay guys, here they are. They came out pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna just probably pop the whole thing in, huh? Well, they're good and crunchy. Um, They, they are very like, boring, <laughs> I guess they're not super flavorful. I feel like it's like any fried fish. Um, that batter is super good. Good. So, it's, I mean, it's really good actually, it's like, I'm still trying to like, they're super mild. You can't really taste any fishiness or anything there. I mean, you should have heard Ross talking about these things. That they're like the best thing ever. Like, oh my gosh, Matt, they're better than walleye. They're so good. I'm like, whatever, dude. But yeah, they're pretty good. All right, you got to try one. Okay. <laughs> Pick out a big one. This one? Uh-huh. It's got a lot of batter on it. Yep. Just pound it. What do you think? Come on. Oh, okay. it's just the, you're eating the fins, so it's funny, but they taste fine. Yep. Are you excited me to go get some more? Liar. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm definitely going to go do some more smell fishing at some point, and uh, this is pretty fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, drop a comment below. Let me know uh, if you got any tips for me. All right, guys. Have a good one.